All right, welcome to Free Play Arcade Jeopardy episode four. We have three brand new contestants. Let's see, first are in our defending champion spot, though it's all new contestants. It's Adam, AKA Beastie. Welcome Adam, what's your, what's your, uh, Thank you. what's your, what's your arcade history, Adam? Um, well, uh, arcades were important in my early life because of, uh, my, I had a single mom. I was raised by a single mother. And so a lot of times, uh, the arcade was sort of her babysitter while she did her shopping and things like that. Whenever we go to the mall or to certain stores, she knew that she could basically rent me out a babysitter for $5 an hour. And she knew I'd be in the same place and nobody could peel me out of there. So that was kind of uh, my first introduction to it. So I was kind of, what I, we, my friends and I, my age, we're, we're a little bit older than I think what you guys were talking about previous. So I was more, our tournaments weren't really Street Fighter. It was more like Karate Champ and things like that. So we were kind nice. of a little bit of a generation back. So we, we definitely have had Tuesday Night Fights Karate Champ at Free Play Arlington. And that was maintained by your fellow contestant, FPA Matt. Welcome, oh, Matt. Right. What's going on? Matt, please tell me you've actually dyed your. <laughs> that was uh, that was me playing with filters, and uh, I'm, I'm I, I don't normally have my face on Facebook, but there you go. One hundred percent accurate photo of FPA Matt, aka Tekken Matt, <laughs> aka the general manager of Free Play Arlington, and everybody's manager at GameStop ever. And our final contestant, it was his Hall of Fame week last week, and he is back for more. He's sporting the Tuesday Night Fights Championship belt. It is Jeremy the Golden Standard Golden. Hello there, Harry Paul. No pressure, Adam, but you have two former arcade employees <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, to go in an arcade in Jeopardy <laughs> with. He's not. Jeremy never worked for Free Play. He was. How long did you work at GameWorks, Jeremy? Oh, six years. Six years. So we're just going to make them all Golden Age questions, and he won't know what to do. <laughs> God. <laughs> he knows all about the uh, the Redemption game era, and I don't think we have a Redemption category. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All we'll right, and and Thank leading you. the ceremonies, of course, is our host and writer, uh, the journeyman himself, Josh Rylander. Take it away, Josh. Uh, if you want to do it more like Jeopardy, they always they, they seem to always go. They always seem to always say like, "It's a computer programmer from Austin, Texas." <laughs> uh, they say like their occupation and where they're from. So I've lost two people from the buzz in. Do you guys still have the window open? Okay, golden standard, I see back. I still only see, okay, there we go. There it is, yeah. So all three of you test it real quick. And then I'll reset. Oh, golden standard dropped again. Hmm. Oh, there we go, I'm back now. <laughs> test it, out. That's Press the buzzer. There you go. Okay. Did it work? I don't know if it worked or not. It did. Okay, cool. Okay. So, today for Jeopardy, our starting six categories. So, they go, they also go a lot. They also go a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was eating a banana. Uh, they also go a lot faster in Jeopardy than I do. <laughs> they give people like three seconds to buzz in. Uh, I'm going to try to mentally count. We'll do like five seconds. Uh, so here are our categories for today. Our first category is, do you think love can bloom even on the battlefield? That is about video game couples. Our second category, not a trek or a war. All the uh, answers in that category have star in them. One more thing. That category is about fictional detectives. Introductions are in order. That category is about TV intros, TV show intros. Uh, phoning it in. Uh, that category is about, and I need to redo these boxes at some point. That category uh, 
all related to fictional phone things. And then superpower. All the answers have the word super in them. And then, uh, Chris, you start. You choose uh, who will start. Uh, he's in the right position, so let's start with Adam. Okay, let's do Not a Trekker War for 200. Okay. The United States Air Force sends teams through a portal to other planets to fight aliens posing as Egyptian gods in this TV series. Adam. What is Stargate? Uh, can you give me more? Oh, uh... I knew the movie. I didn't know the show. No, I can't give you more. Sorry. Um, Matt, you you buzzed in next. If you still want to answer, I mean, technically I reset and then you guys buzz in. But um, what is Stargate Voyager? That's not... yeah. I, 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 was, I was using your. Oh, it's Stargate: I'll, I'll The Next reset. Generation. I'll, I'll reset and you guys buzz in. I was using your old. So that that doesn't really. Stargate: Phantom Menace. No, I'm just uh, Golden Stand. Jeremy. Star Stargate SG one. Uh, that is correct. <laughs> nice. Good one. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Um, Stargate was the movie. St Stargate SG one was the TV series. Yeah, Ed MacGyver is the lead, right? I forget his name. Correct. <laughs> um. All right, you have the board. Let's go. Uh, Dean Anderson. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Uh, introductions are in order for 200. Okay. Inertia is a property of matter. Bill, 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 Bill. So these are all quotes and you have to name the theme song. Uh, Golden Standard. Uh, what is Bill Nye the science guy? Uh, that is correct. <laughs> let's do the same category. Uh, hold on, hold on. Since you guys are just going by Adam and Jeremy, uh -huh. uh, can you exit the buzz in, go back in with the code, and change your names to just be Adam and Jeremy so it's easier for me to tell who's... Sure. It's easier for me to just match the name to the score thing then. Right. The rest of us will just hum the Bill Nye, the science guy song <laughs> in our head. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to find like a part of the song where they don't say Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> that, that's that's the lyrics. Bill, 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 Was that the one Bill. with the giant rat? No, that is Beastman's World. That's the one I watched. Don't more. you dare get it mixed up. My bad. Oh. They're all Mr. When, Wizard. When I, was a, when I was a kid, for some reason, I had it in my head that you were only allowed to be for a fan of one or the other, and you couldn't like both. Give me a <laughs> matter of ancients. It's Mr. It was Wizard the for science us. Science Guy Wars. <laughs> okay, Jeremy, I lost you. Okay. I don't know why you keep cutting out of the buzzer. My, my internet reception here in my house is horrible, so sorry. All right, so, Jeremy, you have the board, though. Let's go introductions for 400. Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the fire nation attacked. At. Hmm. Uh, what is Avatar, Last Airbender? That is correct. Had a little audio disruption there. We should be good to go. Okay, Matt, you have the board, and I don't see Jeremy in the buzzer again. Oh, now I see Jeremy, but not Adam. Yeah, it said the host kicked me out of the game. Oh, oh right. <laughs> I'll wait. Now I just see Matt. <laughs> Maybe we could just go back to verbal. We, we didn't do have that. any problems with that. this previously, but... Let's just do... If, let's just if do you guys are having then. issues... If you guys are having issues, you can just... Say buzz. Yeah, for sure. yeah let's, let's do it this way. Um, your your um, buzzers are now your names. Let's test it out. Adam, say your name. Adam. Adam. Adam's for Adam. Matt, say your name. Matt. Matt's your name. So, Jeremy, say Jeremy. Jeremy. Okay, I can hear all of you, so I will be the judge of who is the first to buzz in, but just say your name to buzz in. Okay. Cool. And wait till after he's finished reading the question. 
Okay, Matt, you have the board. Uh, let's go superpower for 400. For 400? Okay. Yeah. With frequent votes to save or kill the animals, the speed run for this game often closes out the Games Done Quick Marathon. Three, two, one. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, the answer is, what is Super Metroid? Remember, the category is all things with super in the title. Mm -hmm. The owls didn't know that one. Um, who has the board? Uh, Matt. Matt still has it because he had the last time. Uh, let's do superpower for 200. Wait, you changed your name to McLovin? Jeremy. Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy. What is super bad? That is correct. Let's go Superpower 600. In this RPG, you fight bosses like Balome, the Axum Rangers, and Culex. Three, boop, boop, boop. There you go. Uh, the answer is, you know, what is Super Mario RPG? I don't. I've never known if it was Balome or Balome, like a like <laughs> French. Is he a French giant dog? I don't know. I guess let's go Superpower 800. Following X Men Children of the Atom, Capcom made this progenitor to their Versus series. Jeremy. Adam. Yeah, Jeremy. First. X. Oh, God. I just drew a blank. Three, two, one. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. You can buzz in again. Yeah. Matt. Someone buzz Matt. in with their name? Yeah. Matt. Uh, Marvel superheroes. I uh, can answer in the form of a question. Who is what is Marvel superheroes? That's correct. <laughs> yeah, they give leniency in the first round, but like even when I when one of the examples example episodes I watched, they even did that thing that I did earlier. Where he was like, "Could you give me a little more?" Yes, I think they're a little more lenient in the first round. But yeah, so Matt, you're the board now. All right, let's uh, clear out superpower for a thousand. The third film in Jackie Chan's Amazing Police Story series was released in the U.S. under this title. Matt. Adam. Matt. Matt. Uh, what is Super Cop? That is correct. I think because it was released here like that, most people don't realize that's Super Cop 3. I, I, then, I didn't realize uh, uh, First Strike is Super Cop 4. Police story. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Police story for. <laughs> yeah. Misspo. Uh, Matt has control of the board. All uh, right. Let's uh, let's go with do you think love can bloom? For uh, 200? 200, yeah. In spite of their inability to laugh like normal people, these two main characters were the romantic focus of much of the plot of Final Fantasy X. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's Titus and Yuna. Is, who are Titus and Yuna? Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Alright, Matt, you saw the board. Alright, uh, do you think love can bloom for 400? Chloe Price, Rachel Amber, and Maxine Caulfield fall in love, set fires, and hunt down in a, a serial killer in Arcadia Bay. A fictional town located in this Pacific state. Adam. 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 What is Oregon? Uh. Uh, Chris, can you double check? <laughs> Did you do you have the thing open? I don't. Oh, I do not. Hold on. <laughs> I think that it's correct, but I'm actually like not. On. Looks like we saw a reveal there. Uh, give me give me a sec to to get on the thing. I don't want to. Like, do I what I've done before and hit space bar and show everybody when it... <laughs> But I'm pretty sure. Mm. I think Arcadia Bay is in Oregon. Yeah, it's it's the same. Yeah, you're you're right. It's, I remember. Because <laughs> it's the you same. Go, you go ahead and I'll, I'll... It's, it's, it's the same uh, as, like, you know, Portland. 
So, yeah, it there is Oregon. It's going to the bottom. Sorry. Ooh. Okay, I'm on, I'm on it this time. That was Adam, right? Yes. Okay. You got the book. All right. Let's do not a trekker wharf for four hundred, please. Oh, and I accidentally closed uh, chat. Who's probably. Nope, nobody's angry that I couldn't remember that. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> the music, we're the only ones who played Life is Strange. The music video for this song from Madonna's debut album, album helped solidify her image as a fashion icon. Remember, Jeremy, he's a lot of Adam, star in them. Jeremy. Jeremy. What is uh, Material Girl? I, 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 sorry, that's incorrect. Adam. Adam. What is, uh, like, yes. a, what is like a virgin? Uh... No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Ooh. You guys didn't hear my my helpful reminder, I guess, because you were talking over. Remember, this category is all things with star in the title. Oh. Oh. Three, two, God, I know this one. one. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, it's Lucky Star, isn't it? Yes, it is Lucky Star. <laughs> Her second ever music video. Uh, so that's still Adam has the board though. All right, uh, let's do not a trekker war for six hundred. This 1937 film has been remade three times. Most recently, in which it won the Oscar for best original song for "Shallow" by Lady Gaga. Adam. Adam. Uh, what is the Star Is Born? That's right, and you're back in the game. All right. Let's see. Sorry. Just wait for the board to pop back up. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's say in the same category for 800. This post-apocalyptic multimedia franchise is known for exploding heads and the phrase, you're already dead. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, it's what is Fist of the North Star? Yeah. Thanks. All right, let's finish out the category for a thousand. This is Julie's favorite shmup on the Neo Geo, which had a sequel titled Blazing Star. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is Pole Star? All right, well. Uh, let's do, uh, introductions are in order for 600. Okay. And that's the daily double, which you guys can't see the graphic, but the stream can. <laughs> ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, you're going to choose an amount to bid. Are we on Adam? Yeah. Yes. So you're under a thousand, so you can bid up to a thousand. Let's uh, do 600. Okay. There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. Oh, I'm torn between a couple. I'll go with my best. What is the Twilight Zone? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh, dang it. it is, what is the outer limits? Outer limits. Oh, dang it. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, you saw the board? Yeah. Well, let's uh, do introductions are in order for 800. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down a road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Jeremy. Adam. Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> what is the Golden Girls? That is correct. <laughs> and you are back in the game. <laughs> Let's do the same category for a thousand. It's Adam. Adam. What is Jeopardy? No, sorry. It's oh. Oh. oh, that's this. Oh, yeah, this is <laughs> that's Jeopardy. <right. laughs> Anybody else? Three, uh, two, it, Matt. It's Matt. Matt. Wheel of Fort. What is Wheel of Fortune? I'm oh, sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> Anyone else? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. 
The answer is, what is Monty Python's flying circus? Oh, yeah. It always begins with it's... the it's man. Yeah. yeah. It's... <laughs> Let's go um, phoning it in for 200. In these Pokemon games, you get a smartphone possessed by the ghost Pokemon Rotom. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's uh, what are Pokemon Sword and Shield? After your time, Matt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're not dead, so technically it's still during your time. No, no, no. He he sold he many a Pokemon game. Many a Pokemon game. One more thing for two hundred. Daniel Craig plays Southern private detective Benoit Blanc in this Ryan Johnson whodunit. Matt. 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 Knives Out? Uh, can you answer in the form of a question? What, what is Knives Out? What is Knives Out? Yes. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> okay, okay, good. If, if I, re I revealed it. <laughs> Sorry. I said yes, but I didn't say it. Sorry, that I didn't know my mic's cutting out. You, you, you've done that twice, so you got to remember, form of a so, question. Yep, absolutely. Because uh, next round, it's just going to be wrong, and other people will get the button. Right. Uh, what is one more? Th or, <laughs> let's go with one more thing for 400. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Matt? In 69 movies over the course of 22 years, Peter Falk appeared as this famously shabby cigar-smoking detective. Adam. Adam. What is Columbo? That's correct. He's the one who always said, uh, just, just one, one more thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you got the board. Alright, let's do one more thing for 600. Agatha Christie's dignified Belgian detective who could not be more different from the similarly, similarly named Greek demigod. Adam. Adam. What is Hercule Poirot? Yes. Her Hercule Poirot. 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call him French. He'll be very. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do uh, one more thing for 800. The bumbling Inspector Clouseau attempts to stop a thief known as the Phantom from stealing this diamond. Adam. Adam. Was the Hope Diamond? I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Oh. Uh, three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's, what is the Pink Panther? This is what the that is the title of the movie. Oh, oh I thought it was the diamond name. Played, yeah, played, by, played by another Peter, Peter Sellers. Uh, you saw the board, though, Adam. Okay. Uh, one more thing for a thousand. Sherlock Holmes examines the shade of a, quote, thread of murder running through the colorless skein of life in this, his first published story. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is a study in scarlet? That's why he examines the shade. See, I was trying to put in oh. other helpful clues. <laughs> uh, you still have oh, okay. Uh Let's do. Do you think love can bloom for six hundred? Nathan and Elena met and got married after risking life and limb, finding antiquities and fighting other thieves in lands little traveled in this game series. Matt. Matt. What is Uncharted? That is correct. All right, you got the board. All right. Um, yeah, let's stay in the same category for uh, 800. Guybrush Threepwood and Elaine Marley often find themselves fighting against this demon ghost zombie pirate. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's, who is LeChuck? That's the villain of the Monkey Island games. Max, game. you saw the board. Great games you've got. Uh, let's close out that, uh, that category for a thousand. Yeah, the Telltale ones were actually very good, the Tales among. Mm -hmm. uh, True Battlefield Cup 
Chris Redfield and Piers Nivens fought against bioorganic weapons in this UN-sanctioned counterterrorism unit. Jeremy? Jeremy. Jeremy. What is Resident Evil? The the unit, the counterterrorism unit. Oh, um, umbrella. Stars. What is stars? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's incorrect. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, Matt. Matt. What is stars? That's no, incorrect. That's oh wow. One uh in three two nope. one. That's it. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. It's what is the BSAA? Yeah, stars is record uh, city. No, right? BSAA existed before Resident Evil Six, boat guy. <laughs> He was in the BSAA in Resident Evil 5. Mm -hmm. Lur Check the lore, all right. <laughs> wow. That sounded like the drop. That's amazing. <laughs> How dare you say no one hears about Piers Nivens? <laughs> Piers uh, Nivens is my bae. What? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, phoning it in for 400. Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan must travel through time in a phone booth to ace their history report so they can change the future as members of this band. Adam. Uh, Adam, you think you were a little ahead? Wild, what is Wild Stallions? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I heard you pronounce the second Y. <laughs> Stallion. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think you have to say it. Wild stallions. Yeah, you didn't pronounce the air guitar. <laughs> Sorry, it's incorrect. Uh, Adam has. Oh, uh, phoning it in for 600. We've traced the call. It's coming from inside the house. Jeremy? Adam? Jeremy. Jeremy. What is Scream? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Scream was referencing this movie. Oh. Anybody else? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is when a stranger calls? Adam still has the board. All right, let's do phoning it in for 800. In the series Get Smart, Secret Agent 86, Maxwell Smart. Has a phone inside this. Matt. Adam. Matt got it first. <laughs> yeah, I, you were just ahead, but it made it sound like it made it sound like you said madam. Madam. Said, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, what is a shoe? That is correct. And Matt gets to choose the last category. Uh, we'll go for it. Yeah. <laughs> a killer with a high powered sniper rifle traps Colin Farrell on a call in this two thousand two thriller film adam adam what is phone booth that is correct that complete also also take that boat guy more people <laughs> played resident <laughs> evil 6 than watched phone booth and they got the phone booth <laughs> ones so they air <laughs> that concludes round one of jeopardy and we'll be back with uh all new categories. Josh, and... before you wipe this, double yes. check superpower for 400. What the answer is there? Super Metroid. The superpower last column. Yeah. What was the for one for Super Bad? Where was the Super Bad one? Super Bad 200. Uh, Wait, 200. You changed your name okay. You changed McLovin. your name to McLovin. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Never mind. <laughs> Mokey doke. That's weird. I, I think I don't remember when we talked about this, but I remember I'm a Resident Evil Six apologist, so you know, <laughs> it's not an amazing game, but I appreciate what they were trying to do. Man, uh, yeah, so if people want to, we can, we can, we can. Well, I, I don't want to get into the full conversation I had before, but I think what they were trying to do was just like have each branch represent a different kind of Resident Evil, like. You have the survivalist Resident Evil with zombies. You have the you have the like more actiony Resident Evil, the military one with all the BOWs, and then you have like Jake and Sherry are the like sciency umbrella clean lab Resident Evil. So what you're telling me is it's like the CVS one of Resident Evil games. 
I guess. I didn't really play CVS 1. Me either. <laughs> That's why I hear not uh, well regarded, but tried to do all the games. Yeah, but yeah, if you guys want to take, uh, get water or, or go to the bathroom or uh, whatever, this is commercial break time, I guess. This is interview time. Chris interviews you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Adam, uh, what? Let's see. I, I I caught you coming up. And, um, the thing is, is like I was watching the episodes, and when they do this, it's like this it's is in the middle when they of do the round one. Yeah, well, yeah, it's like when they come back from commercial break. Commercial, yeah. And, and it's like it's very clearly very rehearsed. Yeah. <laughs> anecdotes about each person. Yeah, it's right. Not like yeah, Alex yeah. and them have a casual conversation back. I understand that you uh, have an interesting story about raccoons or whatever it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, Adam. Hey, Josh, I, you might want to. Um, Full screen your um, web page. Yeah, Adam, I uh, I ran into you um, when we were at a to go restaurant at Free Play Richardson. How long have you been coming to Free Play? <laughs> uh, probably I think the first time I went to Free Play Richardson was it been open five years? I think four was that? four and a half years ago. Yeah, nice. Been coming a long time. Are you? Mm -hmm. uh, have you been in in the Free Play Arcade community for long? Um, it's been more in the last six months or so. Um, I wasn't really, I didn't really know it was sort of a thing really until I talked to you, uh, kind of killer Queens was what sort of introduced me to this, that there was sort of this subculture I didn't really know about. Cause I, I actually took my, uh, now fiance to, uh, the free play in Richardson for our first dates. And so, cause we both have affinity for arcade games and games and stuff. And so. Um, and then we started, as my children got a little bit older and into it, they, I, we started bringing them sort of as like a family day outing. And so as they started opening them up, we actually, uh, my fiance, we actually worked at the uh, uh, place that uh, was where the Denton location is. It was a Taps and Caps before that, and she actually worked for them. So I actually spent time in that building before it became a free, and then when it came to free play, we were super jazzed that we had one here in town, so... Uh, but yeah, so I, and so the Killer Queens was what, what kind of introduced me to the whole sort of, uh, you know, the... subculture that you had with, and it's been really interesting to kind of see, especially, I was never much of a fighting game, and to watch that sort of, the tournaments and stuff, I think my daughter, she's really starting to pick up Street Fighter, so. Really? I think when, yeah, so when things come back, because I think it's what, Sundays, you have the kids yeah, tournament in. Yeah, at two, and we just Arnold. had one at 1 p.m. today, we're probably going to get. Oh, is that right? Yeah, we're going to get the, the kids back together 1 p.m. on Mondays since they're awesome. without things to do as well. Yeah, now that it's been canceled, well, cool. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll see about getting her into that because I know she was really looking forward to that. So it will be when everything gets back to That's gets fantastic. Back. I'll, I'll add you into the chat for sure. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Um, Matt, is Jess doing, still doing the podcast? Uh, that's been put on hold. Um, her partner that she does that with um, is moving currently, mm -hmm. uh, which is a, this is a fantastic time to pack up all your stuff and be introduced to a new state. Let me tell you, so that that's that's going to have to be picked up later. <laughs> yes, our own Carissa did that. She moved to Kansas. I don't know why. Let's see. We uh, my own house is under massive construction. Every time I literally every time I walk into the living room, there is a whole another set of furniture in there. For multiple people moving into the state, it's uh, it is a weird time for that, but I guess it's happening out there. Yeah. Um, Jeremy, what have you been? We visited with you last week. What have you been up to this week? Just keeping my head above ground, just working and keeping myself busy, uh, doing your suggestion, just going on walks and clearing my mind, really. So. Yeah, that's been super helpful for me. Yeah, I, I do like the walks, so it clears my mind a lot. All right, Josh, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready whenever. Uh, I do want to say just uh, real quick, like honestly, it's whatever you can you can hate uh, Resident Evil Six. Everybody does. <laughs> <clears throat> I my argument is just that you can answer that question without knowing who Piers is because the question was just about the VSA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah all so right. How do you feel about Raccoon City. <laughs> So, oops, I forgot to recover everything. Everybody's already seen it, but I'm going to do it. Okay. So our category is for Double Jeopardy, in which all the... Uh, all... 
all the prices are doubled, so there's a lot of money on the board. That Alex Trebek always says that there's a lot of money on board for this round. Uh, so any of you could still be in the game. You can easily catch up. Double check. Uh, yes, don't only play at co-op, boat guy. Don't play it in another. Uh, yeah. Oh, the 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 after after the game mode is pretty fun too. Again, co-op. What uh, hilariously. It's, Sorry, not to talk more about RE6, but like <laughs> they added co-op to Ada's campaign and and you just play as like a random faceless guy <laughs> who just like isn't acknowledged in any of the cutscenes at all. Hunk so it's just like Ada, it, yeah, it's like it's like Hunk, but it's like imaginary friend Hunk who's, <laughs> who only Ada can see but never acknowledges. Yeah, <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, all right. So our first category for this round, the three horrors. So the way that works, watching Jeopardy really helped me with like a lot of these category ideas, like having name th things with a certain word in them or whatever. And they did a thing where it was like musicals, but all they did was say the name of three of the characters. So this is a uh, horror games, and all you're going to get as the clues is names of three of the characters. Uh, quotent quotables. <laughs> that that is quotes, and you will guess what video game they are from. Uh, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Uh, that is about starting equipment in video games. Uh, King of all monsters. That category is about Godzilla. Rock the dragon. That category is about Dragon Ball Z. And music is the weapon. That category is about band centric video games. So, uh, Jeremy, you get control of the board. Oh, jeez. Let's go. Um, music is the weapon for 400. Running off the engine of the unreleased Thrill Kill, a PlayStation tournament fighter featured this martial arts inspired rap. Adam. Adam. What is the Wu Tang Clan? That is correct. Wu Tang Shaolin style. Game. All right, let's see. Uh, we were having trouble with the, them getting disconnected from the buzzers, so we're going to try it again next time now, proper. For now, yeah, no buzzers. <laughs> there actually is no internet in Louisville where Jeremy is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's true. laughs> I'll do music is the weapon for Ethan. This band had a FPS game on Windows and Dreamcast titled Psycho Circus The Nightmare Child. Adam. Adam. What is Kiss? That is correct. Kiss Psycho Circus. All right. Let's stay in the category for 12. Three bands were featured in the Make My Video series. In Excess, Criss Cross, and the good vibrations of this band. Jeremy. Adam. Jeremy. Jeremy. What is Aerosmith? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Your question's open. Adam. 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 What? What is Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? Oh. That is correct. <laughs> they, oh did the, they did the song Good Vibrations. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the ones I wish I hadn't gotten correct. <laughs> I, I had to, to debate, like, when I wrote that sentence, it's like, do I want to remove Marky Mark and make that the the one or do i want to remove crisscross and make that one it was a hard decision yeah you gotta include the funky bunch wiggity right. wiggity 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 <laughs> whack <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, music is a weapon for 60. when the player successfully beats the journey arcade game they are rewarded with this song playing from a cassette tape what jeremy jeremy, jeremy. what is don't stop believing i'm sorry it's incorrect Nobody here beat the, the journey game? <laughs> no. oh. Almost there. I'm on the left. Three, two, I to put a one. On boop, boop, boop. Matt's it heard is. this song, I'm sure. What is Separate Ways, Worlds Apart? I've heard it a million times. I just didn't know the name of the song. <laughs> I could sing it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that That's a bluff. There's no way you could prove that. Right. All right, Adam, you still have the board, though? All right. Uh, let's finish out the category for 2000. In 50 Cent, Blood on the Sand, 
50 Cent kills a bunch of terrorists in an unnamed Middle Eastern country because they stole this valuable but morbid, morbid item from yeah. Matt. Matt. Uh, Matt. Uh, what is a d uh, skull? So I decided I would I would allow that, but it is specifically a diamond and that, encrusted yes. human skull. I was going to say diamond if you asked me to clarify. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yes, the plot to that game is he goes to the Middle East for a concert. The guy won't pay him his $10 million and instead gives him a diamond encrusted and pearl encrusted human skull. And then some terrorists <laughs> steal it from him and he has to get it back. <laughs> True story, by the way. <laughs> thank, thank you, 50 Cent. <laughs> yes, thank you, 50 Cent. <laughs> Uh, let's go to quote and quotables for 400. Okay. Stay a while and listen. Matt. 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 What is Diablo? That is correct. Uh, let's do the quote and quotables for, uh, what is that? Eight? 800? Yeah. Yeah. I hope this is not Chris's blood. Matt. Matt. What is Resident Evil? That is correct. I thought Jill Sandwich would be too obvious. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> um, this quote terrified me as a kid. <laughs> yeah, let's go uh, straight down the list. Sorry, I'm behind on the lag. 1200, yeah. Are you looking at the stream or the uh, Discord? I am looking at the screen, not the Discord, but that's okay. Uh, okay. Quotables for 12. That is the Daily Double. There we go, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, what do you want to bid? Bid up to oh, 5,000. Yeah, you uh, can bid up to your whole amount. Um, let's go... Yeah, let's just go 1,000. What? Uh, you want to do less than what the, the value would have been? What? what? Do oh. at least what the value would have been. <laughs> oh, <I thought laughs> oh badgering. Whatever I bid. Okay, yeah, I got yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll go 2,000. Okay. I feel asleep. Oh. But yeah, gen generally people, people. Well, generally people. Why I'm, why I'm saying the category was the twelve hundreds. Saying wow. bid at least twelve hundred. Because if it wasn't the daily double, you'd lose twelve hundred oh. for getting it. I, I know it. I know it's a typo, but no, I. I'm gonna have to pass. Okay. It is. What is Metal Gear? The original Metal Gear. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I yeah. thought you'd do that, or uh oh, the truck have started to move. I think <laughs> one of those two would be in here. Uh, okay, Matt you saw the board, though, Matt. Yep. And you're still, uh, and you're still in the lead. First sixteen. Nothing is more bad. Wait, oh, I need to get away from the microphone. <laughs> Nothing is more badass than treating a woman with respect. <laughs> Anybody? Three. Matt. 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 What is Borderlands 2? That is correct. You oh, have to oh. yell it because it's tour. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate that. That was good. <laughs> it was not a very good tour. It works for me. But at least I yelled. All right. Let's, uh, let's close out uh, quote and quotables. Okay. This is like the longest clue ever. My blood cries out for vengeance of my people's blood, which can only be repaid with at least twice as much blood, or maybe three times as much blood. Like if you went to hell and it was full of blood, and that blood was on fire, and it was raining blood, then maybe that would be enough blood. Eh, but probably. Anybody else? I think, Josh, you need to read the rest of the clue. They're confused. What? I read the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's what is Warcraft 3? The Blood Elf says that. It's one of the pissed quotes. <laughs> nice. It's a good one. Maybe you went to hell and the, there was raining blood and the blood was on fire. <laughs> yeah, the uh, all right, let's, uh, let's try out three horrors for 400. Okay, so with this category, I do need specific the specific game. If it's in a series, I need a specific game and not just the name of the series. Leon, Ashley, Ada. Three, two, Matt. Yeah, Matt. 
Resident Evil 4? That is correct. Okay. I heard typing, though. Who was typing? <laughs> uh, it's a form of a question. Oh, right. That, yeah, uh, but you yeah, did yeah. not put it in the form of a question. That's all right. Well, I mean, Adam, it doesn't matter that yeah, I hit space. Somebody else can buzz, hurt him. Yeah, so. no, we, we, we award it to you. Oh, okay. You, think, you want me to just... Yeah, you award it to him. It's okay. Yeah. I wasn't paying right. attention. I was too distracted by the fact that somebody was typing. <laughs> yeah, we'll do, uh, it was me. It was me. Wait, there's a camera on me. It wasn't me. <laughs> uh, you want to do what? Which one? Three, three horrors for 800. Bonnie the bunny. Chica the chicken. Foxy the fox. What? <laughs> These are all horror games. Three, two, Matt. one. Matt. Matt. What is Five Nights at Freddy's? That is correct. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> See, I figured even if you hadn't played it, I thought that would be kind of obvious as long as you were. Was a bet. <laughs> right? Because they sound like Chuck E. Cheese characters, which is the point. All right. Uh, yeah, That's three horrors for 1200. <clears throat> Francis, Lewis, Zoe. Three, two. Matt. Matt. What is Left for Dead? That is correct. Oof. Zoe startled the witch. Pills here. <laughs> yeah. P pills here. <laughs> pills, 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 pills. Pills. Uh, yeah, let's uh, keep that going. Three horrors for 16. Isaac. Ultimate. Ellie. Jeremy. Jeremy. What is Last of Us? I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Anybody else? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. I was actually kind of hoping Ellie would throw somebody off. It's what is yeah. Dead Space 2? Wow. Oh. My, Michael Altman is the guy who created the religion, and he meets Ellie Langford in that one. That's, that's what makes it two rather than one, is Ellie. All right, what category do you want, Matt? Uh, let's finish up three horrors for 2000. Heather. Claudia, Douglas. This was the one that made me debate whether or not I should include last names. But for pretty much all the other ones, I thought the last names would make it. I mean, Altman's technically last name, but I thought full names would make it too easy on the other ones. This one probably should have had full names. <laughs> three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is Silent Hill 3. Silent Hill. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, Matt, you still got bored. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, I feel like that's all the points I'm going to get. Let's see, uh, King of All Monsters for 400. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Godzilla category I predict will be the hardest. <laughs> Just because I don't know how much you know the guys. Uh, this is the name of the titular son of Godzilla, a diminu diminutive Godzilla. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. So that last sentence I put in there as a clue, just in case you didn't actually know, it's who is Minizilla? Minizilla. <laughs> Minizilla. Of course. And or, 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 that's or, or sorry, Min question. Manila. Yeah, okay. Manila. Oh, nice. Or Manura. <laughs> Manura. <laughs> Manura. All right. Um. Let's see. Let's skip over to uh, Rock. Well, no. Uh, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this for four. Gordon Freeman's first and most iconic weapon. Jeremy. Jeremy. What is, what is crowbar? That is correct. Woohoo! <laughs> you have the board now. Uh, let's do the same category, 800. There are three options Professor Oak gives you as a starting Pokemon in Pokemon Red, Blue, Green. Th these are the three options. Matt? Matt. Um, you, you need all three, yeah? Yep. Uh, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle? I'm sorry, it's not in the form of a question. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Don't give it to me. <laughs> Don't give it to me. 
is somebody else gonna buzz in? Three, you get to buzz in and two, one. I can't repeat this. I don't know Pokemon. I can't repeat them. Wow. I mean, wow. He said them and he didn't take it. <laughs> yeah, Get a Bulbasaur Charmander. <laughs> well, you still have the board, man. Matt, Matt <laughs> definitely sold that Pokemon Bulbasaur, game. Bulbasaur, that's the one I did. Sure. Uh, it's dangerous to go let's take this for 12. This invaluable piece of equipment is bestowed to you at the beginning of most games in the Fallout franchise. Matt. Oh, Matt. Oh, what's it called? What is the Pip Boy? Pit that boy is thing. correct. Oh, good one. It's gonna call it Fallout Boy. That's not right. <laughs> That's my emo face. That's I gotta say, <laughs> I gotta say, you guys are having a hard category. Was gonna be easier. Uh, yeah, dangerous to go alone for sixteen. In Dead Space, you find this tool as your first improvised weapon for fighting necromorphs. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's, uh, what is the plasma cutter? Uh, Lego, am I cutting in and out all the time, or am I just cutting in and out when we're talking over each other? Uh, when, when you're, when you get explosive, you, that's when you cut out. That's when you cut out to me. Okay. So, like, when you sang, sang at the end. Or when you were yelling. <laughs> maybe, when you were twerk at the end. Things like that. Maybe that's, <laughs> yeah, maybe that's, like, maybe that's, uh, Discord or XSplit adjusting for loudness. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, yeah, let's do uh, dangerous to go alone. For it is dangerous to go alone. That's why the very first old man gives you this item in the Legend of Zelda. Adam. Adam. What is the sword, or what is the wooden sword? Uh, yes, I was going to okay. accept either of those. Okay. <laughs> oh. It's just oh, called okay. a sword in the game, but it's it's wooden sword in the manual. Japan. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's do uh, King of All Monsters for 800. Possibly my favorite Godzilla monster, this plant-based kaiju was the first monster Godzilla faced in the Heisei era series of Godzilla films. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, General Yagov, that was the bottom question because people know that you get a sword, but they don't necessarily remember that it's a wooden sword. Anyway, uh, who is Biolante? The answer. Ooh, Biolante. <laughs> oh, uh, King of All Monsters for 1200. Also, I, I didn't think any of those questions were all that hard, so decide what to put on bottom. <laughs> EDF! EDF! EDF. What is EDF? I'm giving you a big clue. What is EDF? That's what I'm asking, looking for. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. All right. It's what is Earth Defense Force? That quote is from the Earth Defense Force games, but the Earth Defense Force <laughs> originates. <about> <laughs> the Earth Defense Force originates from wow. from Godzilla. Is that the same as like the Atari Liberation Force or whatever it is? I don't know. It's like it's like it, initially it's just Japan's special defense force fights against Godzilla, but after the first movie, they form the UN forms like the Earth Defense Force to deal with kaiju threats hmm. and fail at dealing with kaiju threats. Does Adam have the board? Yes. Yes. Uh, King of all monsters for sixteen. Although he sounds like a flying cat. This is the name of a human-shaped robot that can grow in size and teams up with Godzilla in Godzilla vs. Megalon. They did this movie on a Mystery Science Theater 3000. Oh, I, that's the only reason it rings a bell. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. The, the big clue is flying cat. It's who is, what is Jet Jaguar? <laughs> Jet Jaguar! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Why not? Let's finish up the category. He's like an Ultraman knockoff. Uh, this terribly destructive weapon, full of corrosive gas particles, was used to destroy Godzilla in the original 19th film and eventually caused the creation of the kaiju known as Destroya. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is the oxygen destroyer? 
It creates <laughs> micro oxygen particles that are corrosive. I bet you didn't know that Godzilla disintegrated in the first mil film, did you? Nope. <laughs> no. I only knew that Perry Mason was in it. I <laughs> really hoping the question was going to be about Puff Daddy doing the uh, theme song <laughs> to the new one. <laughs> so you guys know nothing about Dragon Ball. I guess no. you guys know nothing about Dragon Ball. <laughs> I'm surprised you were Godzilla <laughs> over Dragon Ball. <laughs> Let's dive it in. Was, it was six of one half of the other. <laughs> All right, we'll go with <laughs> Rock the Dragon for 400. Goku's signature attack is named after this Hawaiian king. If you Jeremy? don't get this one, you seriously Jeremy. owe Jeremy. What is Kanehanema? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Me and the chat is really sad right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It is. What is the Kamehameha? Oh, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, is it still me? Adam, Adam yeah, I forgot. Time. Okay, rock the dragon for 800. <laughs> this organization served as a primary protagonist. Sorry, that's what's to say antagonist. As a mistype. Uh, primary antagonist in the original Dragon Ball created the androids and was led by Commander Red. Oh man, I could hear the chat screaming. Oh. <laughs> 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 Three, Laying up two, on this one. One. Yeah. Sorry about guy. <laughs> it's what is the Red Ribbon Army? Matt's going to have a hard time when he I goes even, back I even to work put red in the <laughs> yeah. GameStop. I'm just going to sit back on this one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. I'm, I'm <laughs> taking. I keep doing this. So. Okay, let's keep going. 1,200. Chris, if you can answer any of these, they all lose that much money. <laughs> oh, uh, pre previous major villains in Dragon Ball Z had three forms they went through before their eventual defeat. But this villain had the most. Three, two, Matt. 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 Who is Cell? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's incredible. <gasps> oh, I knew the name of a villain, though. Yeah, I know. No, yeah. You should almost yeah. get points for that. Cell, yeah. Cell, had, Cell, <laughs> Cell, Cell had three forms. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's who is Boo or Majin Boo? Oh, kind of. Wait a that. second. Does this count movies? No, but he still had a bunch of. I mean, he he was he was innocent boo, evil boo, super boo, kid okay. boo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he had a lot of different. He he, he resurrected as oob. <laughs> New movies are canon, boat guy. Uh, uh, six. The only the only canon movies are the the la the super ones. Yes. Yeah. New canon. Uh, New movies. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and Super or GT? Uh, he is the god of destruction of Universe 7, and like the other gods of destruction, is named after a type of alcohol. Well, I mean, just because they rewrote them as episodes doesn't mean they aren't canon. They tell the exact same story, just shorter. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. They, were written, they were written by Toriyama. <laughs> Man, man, boat guy arguing with me all the time here. It's uh, who is Beerus? Beerus. Beerus. <laughs> so, someone marked this too. Uh, I think it is it Adam has a voice? I guess so. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Uh, last, 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 yeah, last, last question. Uh, although the Japan Anniversary Association declared May 9th as Goku Day in 2015, it was declared as this holiday in the Dragon Ball series long before. Three, two, one. You got this, Matt. No. It's what is Piccolo Day? They tried to take <laughs> away Piccolo Day from Piccolo. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, when, that's awesome. When Piccolo was a different character, basically, and evil, he declared Piccolo Day as the day he'd blow up a city. <laughs> he took over the world. All right, so...
Wow. Final Jeopardy. We're going to reveal the category. Uh, you're going to decide how much you're going to bet based off just the category. Then you'll get to see the question, and then you'll write down uh, the answer. Yeah, and Jeremy is just a little bit in the negative, so he won't be yeah. uh, able to actually... You can go ahead and answer for fun. Yeah, yeah. We'll okay. see. You can send me your answer, but you won't okay, be able to bet. That's fine. Uh, so yeah. the answers we should send to to Josh, um, just like whisper him on um, on the Discord because yeah, he can, he's a, the one who's gonna put a, it up. Yeah, there's a thing I get to type in in the. So yeah, just message me directly on Discord. Are you gonna and message? I'll, message the I'll type them in to Josh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah the, the, Josh yeah, on Discord. Message Libra. the wager. I get to type them in into the thing that's been keeping track of the scores. And Chris, okay. can you minimize the uh, that preview again on the second monitor so we can change things up on the... Yes. Minimize or kill it? Uh, minimize if you need to. I just need to be able to see the Google Doc. Uh, I'm going to turn it off. Cool. All you. So did we get the ca final category reveal? Uh, yeah, so the category is uh, fictional video game locations. Okay, now you, now you message the, uh, the wager. How's the uh, behind the scenes stuff, Josh? Uh, fine. Is it working? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it got a little awkward when Matt had like more answers than everybody else, and I had to start scrolling for him. You know? <laughs> uh... But I mean, I, there's not really anything. That, I I think maybe in between rounds, what I what you what I should probably just do is uh just delete everything and write the totals into the top thing, just to clear space for double jeopardy. You know. I'm wondering if we can just have it so that it just adds or subtracts and doesn't let you leave a list or whatever. I mean, I think as long as I do that, basically clear it out in between. Yeah, it's, it's not the amount of lines Lego. It's the fact that he has to scroll down to add more, especially if somebody's answering a lot of questions. Yeah, not, not having to scroll is a lot easier when I'm having to deal with, like, the window for XSplit, the window for chat, the window for... Yeah. Yeah. Production life. Have you got all the wagers? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so I will reveal the question, and uh, somebody else who wants to sing the song, <laughs> I'm going to go to the bathroom <laughs> while you're doing it. Okay. Hard pass. Oh. <laughs> this, this is the name of the fictional universe that all the Final Fantasy Tactics games, Final Fantasy XII, and Vagrant Story are all set in. Dang. They do it twice. This guy's watched the show before. We should have played Final Fantasy remember, games instead. Remember, yeah, watch, so, watch remember for 20 to, seconds. Remember to send your answers to me on Discord. Yeah, do we have all the answers? Oh, uh, <laughs> answers and wagers, by the way. The uh, wagers have already been sent. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do we lose the scores? Do we still have them somewhere? The scores are up, but um, this is the final Jeopardy part. I can do this, go back to that, but cool, cool. when we answer, we got this. I understand. All right, you're about to run out of time. Everybody. Uh, just if you don't have anything, write a joke in. <laughs> <laughs> you got everybody? Yep. 
Cool, cool. All right, first up, Jeremy. I'll let you, uh, I'll yeah, let you do so, the Josh. I'll let you do it, Josh. Yeah. So, Jeremy, uh, your answer was, "What is Boat Guy's house?" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm make this smaller. Uh, yeah. So it's yeah, it's getting cut off just a little. It looks like by. Got this. Hold on. I got this on the fly. Boom. Uh, and your wager, it wouldn't let me write in a non-number, but he, he said he said fun. So I tried writing in fun, but it just changed it to zero. If we just give him a full like fifty-eight hundred well, wager and really make it all fun. to the zero, like uh, like Danny Gallagher did, <laughs> double his double his losses. You still wouldn't catch Danny, by the way. He was negative twenty-five thousand or something like that. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, Adam, your answer was no answer. I didn't get an answer. Oh, I thought I sent it to you. Oh. Oh, did I get did I get you mixed up? Are you beastie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, spoilers as to what Matt's answer was. <laughs> <laughs> There's your answer. What is fantasy land? Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> well, better than literal nothing, Matt. <laughs> and what? your wager was. 4,800. All the cheddar. Uh, yeah, mad. Matt, <laughs> your answer was no answer. And your wager, 1,500. Well done. <laughs> uh, the answer is what is Ivalice? Sure. Once again, the chat is angry. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so much anger in the chat right now. There's just not enough weeb on this chat right now. We, 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 we're not rolling with this Final Fantasy stuff in Dragon Ball. That's no. all oh, God. Or Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your free play arcade Jeopardy champion is Matt Johnson. Congratulations. Where are you going to spend your 3,200 Beltran bucks? <laughs> Uh, oh, I realized. Like corner store the Texan. This is the problem with me having to write it down. I realized I forgot the second daily double on the double Jeopardy board. Oh, well. All good. Matt didn't need to help. Yeah, I'll take the zero. <laughs> that, that, I need to figure out, Adam, that makes you one of our way. top finishers of all time at zero. <laughs> you don't know how many people have not made it to final Jeopardy. <laughs> Enough that we have a policy of uh, Jeremy, just go ahead and make a guess anyway. It's okay. I'll take it. Glad we had two people at least. All right. Uh, next week we'll do it. We are we good to go next week as well? Just keep it going. Uh, yeah. So Matt, you better bone up because next week we're doing champions, right? Uh, are we gonna be able to study. do the next championship next week? Since we have three people who aren't. Dylan and Dylan was the like person who was least available. I will I will have to make sure that all three of or three of them are available, but perhaps champions and if not we'll come back with new contestants. Okay. Oh all on the on the uh availability. But yeah, thank you for joining us. This has been Free Play Arcade Jeopardy episode four. I'll make sure to get it clipped and put back up on the website soon enough but you can join in next week monday at 4 30 p.m for our next show it'll either be tournament or champions or three all new contestants and i cannot wait all right thanks guys thank you guys fun. good job matt good job Jerry. thank you thank you good job to you so much fun